Hello everybody, welcome back to another Valheim video. Today I wanted to talk about how to install the first person mod, which I've been enjoying the last uh, little while. And I hadn't seen like a lot of videos on how to install this specific mod, so I wanted to go ahead and make one. First of all, you want to go to um, the Nexus um, mod website, and then you can just search Valheim in the search bar, um, I'm also going to leave a link to this site in the description below. Um, in order to install the first person mod, you need to install the BEP in X pack. Um, so you just click on that and it'll take you to this website over here. And it has instructions on how to install it manually. You just want to download it and then extract it into a folder. And then you'll move the contents of the BEP in X pack. Uh, Valheim folder into whatever your Steam location is on your own personal PC. So for example, mine is in the C drive, program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, and then um, the Valheim folder. So you just want to copy and paste the BEP in X folder in there. You don't want to do it in one of the folders in Valheim. You want to click on the Valheim folder and then paste it inside of that one. And once you're done with that, um, you can start up the game. You don't necessarily have to, but um, the black console window will pop up, which I'll show you a little bit later in the, on in the video. And then the next thing you want to do is download the first person mod. So you'll just go to files. And then if you have the mod manager, you can download it through that way. But I do not. So I will click manual download. And um, if you have, like, if you pay for the FET premium, then you'll download fast. But it doesn't really matter because the Valheim mods are super tiny. And then you'll just show it in the folder and then you'll want to extract it. It doesn't really matter where you extract it. You can extract it into the uh, correct folder right away. Or if you want like a different spot for it, just in case something didn't quite work out the way it's supposed to, then you can just extract it to the default spot. And then you'll just copy the um, firstperson.dll file. And then you'll go into the bepinx folder. And then once you are there, you'll want to go to the plugins. Um, so it shows you on the website where you can go for the, um, the like the, the file path as well. This is exactly what I'm showing you here. And then you'll click on the plugins and then you will paste them in there. And there is an update for the mod. So I just replaced the files in there. So now my mod's updated. And then once you've done that, you can go ahead and launch Steam, launch the game, and it will bring up that black console. If that black console is up, then that means that everything is working. So we can go into Valheim, and I'll load up my uh, first-person world. And then as you can see, um, I'll, once you're loaded in, all you have to do is just scroll the middle mouse wheel. It doesn't matter where you're at, it's just like normal, except for you can scroll in far enough that you can see everything in first person. And that is the way to download and install the first person mod. That's how you can make it work. So if you liked and enjoyed the video, uh, you know what to do. And I will see you in the next one.